This is pretty insane. This thing is pretty fast. Actually never ridden an e-bike before. I have ridden the regular city bikes, but I've never ridden an e-bike before. I want to start getting into riding the city bikes just because it's just a lot easier, a lot more convenient than taking your own bike, having to worry about locking it up. So here we are, we're right down the block from Astoria Park. I think it's that way. And there's one city bike e-bike right here. So let's go ahead and see how it is to ride one of these things. Get my helmet out. And it looks like this is the only e-bike at this location. Actually, there's this one. This is the old style. We want the new style. All right, we're all ready. Let's go ahead and get this camera set up differently. Oh my God, this thing's gotta be like 80 pounds. All right, this is weird. It's no, uh, nothing to just, whoa, okay. Brakes are pretty good. All right. Whoa. Whoa, this is insane. Oh my God. This is insane. This is pretty insane. This thing is pretty fast. This is pretty insane. This thing is pretty fast. It picks up speed really fast. Oop, gotta be careful. Picks up speed super fast. This could be super convenient. Like it just goes. This one rides pretty good too. thing is uh, pretty sweet it's uh, it's definitely it picks up it picks up acceleration really fast heavy as ever but I wouldn't be taking this thing uphill or anything like that but uh, yeah I think this is definitely gonna be something good it's super convenient it, you can get up you can pick up speed super fast it seems like it's capped at like 15 or 16 or 20 miles an hour eventually it just stops and you're just pedaling which is totally okay. You don't really need to be going that fast anyway, especially people that ride these are probably more casual people. But yeah, I'm into it. I might use one of these tomorrow for the coffee meetup. It's in Brooklyn and I wanna deal with deal with uh, transferring a bunch of subway trains, you know, three subway trains. Cute dog. As somebody that rides bikes and has some bikes that are very special to him. This is definitely an awesome alternative if I want to get somewhere and, you know, I don't have to worry about. It. I'm always thinking about if I lock up one of my Wobbies or if I lock up, I'm not locking up my more expensive bikes because those are just too much money. But I'm always thinking about if I lock up one of my Wobbies, how I would feel if they got stolen, especially in New York City. But I mean, bicycles are just bicycles, but those bikes, Although they are not my most expensive bikes, they're still special to me and I'd rather not get them stolen. And if that means paying 10, 20 bucks to, to rent one of these, it might be the more convenient option. Plus you don't have to really worry about a lot of stuff. You're just renting a bike. Having a ton of fun on this on this e-bike. Probably fly up the hill too. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, all you gotta do is bring a helmet, and that's it. You're good. You don't have to worry about anything else. You don't have to worry about much else. Just get on the bike and ride. Speaking of which, let's do it. It's a little baby hill that I usually do on my single speeds. See, right now, I think I reached, I think I reached top speed right now because the bike doesn't make that. So you just go and just stays right there. It's smart though. The brakes are pretty good too. City bike, e-bike, I'm into it. Having a lot of fun, super convenient. Just open up the city bike app, find out where they are and uh, just drop it off. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. So 11.92 for about 25, 30 minutes. A little expensive. Don't know if I'm gonna be using it a lot, but it's worth it sometimes. Thanks for watching.